Welcome to the Startup Interface screen. This is what you'll see when you click on the Makerplot desktop icon. The Startup Interface screen has 10 other interfaces to choose from, each of which is designed for a particular type of plotting. Plus, you can click on a button to bring up the Makerplot guide and one that will give you example code for your Arduino. So before going any further, let's take a short tour of the available interfaces to give you an idea of what Makerplot is all about. Starting on the upper left hand corner, we have our alarming meters interface. This gives us two alarming meters with switches that will allow us to turn our alarms on and off for each meter. And it uses, like most of the interfaces here, the uh, standard interface menu system. Next to it is our channel monitoring interface, where we're able to monitor up to 10 analog channels all at once. Also able to uh, change the colors of each uh, channel plot. We're also able to hide each channel plot. And then we have an indicator here that will indicate the maximum minimum or average values of our channels. Next to it we have our four gauges interface. Again this monitors four channels on alarming gauges. We can set the min, max, and average readings with that as well. Next to that we have our 10 bars interface which shows our analog signals in bar graph format. Coming down here to the lower left hand side we have our digital monitoring interface. This is where we can monitor up to eight channels of digital data at once. We have LED bars for two analog channels as well. Next to that is our XY plot interface which monitors up to six channels of analog data and plots three sets as XY coordinates and this is uh, one of the interfaces that doesn't use the x-axis for time. So this is an interesting interface to do kind of three-dimensional plotting as you see here. And then next to that we have our dual plot interface. It uses plot colors for the second plot. Uh, we have independent uh, axis for each plot area. And it resets when the second plot reaches the maximum value. Then finally we have our interactive interface which allows multiple controls for reading from your controller whether it be an Arduino controller, a PIC controller, or for that matter any sort of microcontroller that you might have. It has switches and sliders and a gamepad and it's really very useful for testing out the bi-directional nature of MakerPlot's ability to communicate with your microprocessor. So that is our MakerPlot interface choices that we have. Our other videos will describe each one of these interfaces in detail for you. So we welcome you to look at these interfaces in detail and see which one or ones is most appropriate for your data plotting.